Welcome to another SafeJS app podcast. And in this podcast, we want to read some ebooks. And I want to present you a nice ebook reading application under SafeJS. So you can find this ebook reading application in Stallman, Warehouse, or even I think the Yola Store. Let me search in Stallman here for FB Reader. And it's a nice ebooking, ebook reading application that not only allows you to read ebooks, but also to manage them. So let's start the application. And what you basically see on first try, on first start, is of course the introduction to the application itself. In my case, it just opened up the last ebook that I was reading. This is one that I downloaded from the internal uh, networking uh, library. So you have uh, various different networking libraries in various different languages, basically. And you can just simply search for ebooks by new titles, authors, titles or genres and let's go into new titles and you can just simply download them here for free. And what you will get then is of course the title of the book itself and then you can press on the screen itself just like on a normal ebook reader to go to the next page. To the next page you can see the various different chapters and uh, you can see a progress bar down below which shows the progress as you can see here there's there are various different chapters in here so it takes a while and I can go through the book here reading and of course the application even if I close the application down it will save the position where you last uh, read and it will open up this again. You have a night mode if you want to read in night time, bad time. It will invert the colors so it makes it pleasing for the eyes. And of course you have some other options just like for example go to an uh, index. In this case there's only and the cover itself, um, it might depend on the ebook that you're reading. Um, the reader itself has a library as well, where you can see documents or PDFs or EPUB files, ebooks sorted by author, by tag, by title, or by recent. Uh, let's go to author. And as you can see here, it extracts the information from the PDF or ebook files and allows me to just simply go to Jules Verne, for example, and I can read this book here. It will show me um, a few other information about the book itself, like the title, the author, the tags, the language. In this case, it's German. It did not detect the language. Maybe it was not stored in the, or is not stored in the ebook uh, file, the EPUB file. And as you can see here, you can see the path where it's stored. Uh, by default, it uses the documents path of your um, Nemo user. So the default uh, documents path. And you can click on read the book to start reading the ebook. And as you can see here, the um, font might be a little bit too small. If it's too small for you, you can go into the um, preference dialog here and go to text. Then you can simply um, uh, simply um, regulate or simply control how the text should look. You have the option for the basis, uh, for the uh, various different titles, and so on. As you can see, you can change the whole um, layouts and whole uh, text spacing as well, line spacing, alignment, um, uh, the font style, and so on, just like you like it. Of course, you can change the colors, so I can freely change my background color to whatever I want to. I can change the selection background, the regular text color, the highlighted text color, and so on. So I can change everything here. I have the option to change the 
progress indicator. As you can see, it's a horizontal footer, just like I showed you before. The horizontal bar on the bottom that shows you how far you are in reading the book. It has some other options, just like showing the clock, showing the page number if necessary, or TOC marks. I have no idea what TOC marks are, but it has the ability to show them as well. And they have, of course, the option to um, scroll the pages with the left and right, or also turn the page with volume keys, which is a nice setting. So if you don't like to tap, you can use the volume up uh, to go a page further the next to the next page basically and go to the previous page by volume down which is a nice thing of course you have also the option to change the directory so if you have your epub files or ebook files stored on your media card you can of course change the ebooks directory here these are the preferences and as you can see here it works pretty fine and you can start reading the ebook um of course, you have always the option to go back to your library and start reading another. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let me go to sci-fi book here, start reading this. As you can see, it works. And of course, you can go back to the library and then go into recent and go back to Jules Verne. Click on reading book and as you can see, it just simply goes back to where you left off reading this book, which is pretty nice. And uh, this not only works for, um, this not only works for EPUB files, but also PDF files. So if you have PDF files or text files or whatever, it will list them here. Of course, you won't get um, uh, ch chapter marks and such things. This is I think exclusive to ebooks and maybe PDF files and um, there are some limitations of course for text files as well but uh, usually this works pretty fine and it's a good rebook reader it also works in landscape mode of course so if you like to read your ebooks in landscape mode this uh, works as well as you can see here those rotate quite nicely and if I go to the next page you can see the text wraps nicely around. Um, it's very very cool and especially useful on the Yola tablet which I also use for reading ebooks most of the time because this small little screen might be a little bit of a limitation here and um, yeah this is basically the ebook reading application called FB Reader. Don't think it has an about window here. You can find it on Storeman on warehouse and openrepos.net and uh, you can give it a thumbs up, give it a star here and um, comment on it, download it and have a lot of fun with FB Reader. This is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.